La Liga Santander. The referee tonight, Mr. Antonio Mateo Laoff, leads the players out onto the pitch in this spectacular atmosphere in the Bernabeu. Mateo Laoff, one of my favorite referees, the new Betis manager, Kike Setien, changed things. Just before we came on air, we saw Setien giving the pep talk to the players and uh, they seem pretty fired up. Here's the lineup selected by Zinedine Zidane for Real Madrid. Kayla Navas in goal. Carvajal, Varan, Ramos and Marcelo at the back. Marcelo returns from suspension. And in midfield, Isco, Modric, Casemiro and Cruz. And up front, Gareth Bale and Cristiano Ronaldo. That represents three changes from the side that beat Real Stan for Betis, a man who spent a large proportion of his professional career at the Bernabeu for Real Madrid. He's the goalkeeper tonight, but Banagan, Mandy, Fedal and Durmisi form the back four. In midfield, Victor Camarasa, Javi Garcia and Fabian Ruiz. And up front, Francis Guerrero, Arnaldo Sanabria, and Christian Teo. They're the to defend with the ball. Can they take the ball off Real Madrid? Is that realistic? It was a fascinating piece of theatre, that pre-match tension, the tightness of the group, the finishing on Ganari, 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 win, win, win. But the words, Simon... Casemiro loses it. It's taken off him by Camarasa. Camarasa gets the ball from Sanabria, tries to return it to him. Still Sanabria! Cleared off the line by Danny Carvajal. The move continues. Christian Teo. An opportunity here for Betis. Camarasa with the shot. And it's gathered by Kayla Navas. Andrinkian was asking his players to do in the dressing room. As soon as they win the ball, they're looking to make intelligent passes to look for each other. The, the chance of the shot there is ignored by Sanabria. Carvajal is doing the typical thing that Zidane's teams do, but immediately the ball is available to be played again. They look to pass, they look to work their way through, rather than to take rash decisions. Lovely burst of football, definite chance, probably should be 1-0 up, but kudos to Carvajal. Danny Carvajal, well, I've just mentioned, to turn the pressure on. Neat combination between Isco and Marcelo. The cross to the far post. Ramos has fallen to Ronaldo. He back heels it. Cleared off the line. Gareth Bale claims there's a corner. Referee points to the corner spot. Short and simple. Betis went to sleep here. It's the first time that they weren't able to mark man from yet another corner. I think it's time here to say Bob Paisley, the Liverpool manager, always told his players bad teams go to sleep when the ball goes out of play. Whenever it's a set play, good teams come alive. That's what happened when Madrid caused such danger from the corner. Much there is Javi Garcia. Camarasa tries the shot. Not far away, that one. And uh, Kayla Navas probably had it covered. But that was a well-struck attempt from Victor Camarasa. Interesting, they know each other from Levante. They've played together, training ground matches. So quick on the break, Madrid. He's got Ronaldo to his left, but it's opened up for Modric. Modric! He thought he could go all the way. He forced a save out of Adan. At least he thinks he did. Let's have a look again. Modric so quick there. Once he gets away from the first challenge, it's him and Ronaldo. And the defence are th clearly thinking twice there. I think Modric hits it straight into the side netting. He felt that uh, Adan got it from Graham Hunter. Meanwhile, here's Isco. A little bit of space. He's got Carvajal wide. Carvajal drills it in low and it's greeted by a volley from Luka Modric. He struck it well, just a little bit too high. But this cross is drilled in by Carvajal. Just look how Modric arrives and with the left foot can't quite keep it down. That would have been unstoppable had he managed to do so. Well, the breaks go again. Ramos, his Modric. Ronaldo lets it go intelligently bail in the area. Here's Ronaldo. Well, he struck it well, and it was awkward for Adan. Tally is only 5 in 28, and we saw partially why there. If you're a striker, irrespective of having grown up at Barcelona, signed for Roma, 
When you don't get the ball, you must be doubly alert. And Ver may prove a bit much. Let's hope we see them. That's a loose ball from Carvajal. Picked up by Fabian. He's going to try this shot. What a save from Kayla Navas. That was going top corner. Sensational save. And that's what I mean in comparison with um, Sanabria earlier on. Keeler has had very little to do. It's given away by Carvajal. He's off his line. The shot shouldn't get in, and yet he's still got the perfect touch to put it over. He made a mistake at the weekend. He's already made up for that there. To Luka Modric. Modric finding Isco. What a save from Adan. Brilliant attempt from Isco. It all started with that lovely little back heeler from Modric. Isco trying to curl it beyond the keeper, and the keeper making a fine save. Absolutely lovely signal for the ball from Isco. And as he steps inside, I have to say, it felt like back of the net, side panel of the net. He's such a good finisher. Kudos to it, Dan. Now Isco, Ronaldo to his left, Bale in the middle, picks out Ronaldo. Ronaldo gets into the area, tries the shot, and it's cleared away. What a lovely phrase, just bullied off the ball. And that's what, if you're a smart player, you know that Matteo Lohos allows. Yeah. If there's any hint that it's shoulder to shoulder and that the play can be transformed from one end of the pitch to the other, this referee will let him do so much in a minute as well. Now Ronaldo, not a good first touch. And Adan leaps on it to hang on for these closing seconds. Danny Carvajal, Bale makes a good run, flicks it into Ronaldo, who can't control it, it came chest height, he was under pressure, he got there first, but he couldn't control it, and that, I suspect, is the last move before half-time. It's picked up by Isco, Isco's got the footwork to get away from, amongst others, Mandy, and in the end, well, taking a bit of a slip, Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, well he's a little bit out of sorts isn't he he's cursing the the, the turf um, the brilliant um, English uh, groundsman who makes this pitch like a snooker team quite as uh, well controlled as that Isco flicks Bale through Bale cuts it back and Ronaldo I think he didn't quite expect that there are one or two jeers Again, a baleful look. And there's no pun intended on Gareth Bale there at the ground from the Portuguese. And uh, it all started with that clever flick on from Isco. Bale, well, I mean, it was a difficult ball, wasn't it, really, for uh, Bale to pull off? It's for Cristiano Ronaldo, that's on a plate. The takedown in the strategy is... Is Ronaldo driving to the byline? It got away from Adan. Baragan calmly tucking it over for a corner. It's it's holding on, but it's wave after wave after wave. And long clearance from Adan. Play on says the referee has fallen to Francis. He's through. Can he take it all the way? No, he can't. He blasted over the top. And what a chance that was. All of a sudden, from the clearance from Adan, it's Marcelo and Sanabria. And to my mind, it's a push in the back from Marcelo. The advantage, law that we've been talking about that gives Betis Taylor Hawes. It is a foul. He sees Kevin free. Kevin doesn't know whether a shooter chip and does a mixture of both. Ronaldo wins. No, he doesn't win another corner. He puts it to the far post where Carvajal goes close. Putting the near post beyond uh, we, uh, we, saw uh, uh, we saw him stopping and thinking, what do I do here? So for a 21 year old. Um, the guy who's got no experience away from home, this is... Cristiano Ronaldo. Puts the pace from the Portuguese, gets into the box, lays it off for Bale. Back healer from Bale, Ronaldo goes down, Matelov has a good... Here's the, he uses his immense physical strength to hold his defender off. There, a back flick. I, I don't see... Bale will now just... Have a lovely flip to Beautiful. strike partner. Balagan holding on, trying to obstruct Ronaldo any way he can, but Ronaldo goes down because there's no way he can reach that ball. There's no foul there. I can't. I Miro to Tony Cruz. Still, Cruz is going to try a shot. And uh, Gareth Bale claims that Adan got a touch to it, and the referee agrees. Corner. What an attempt there from the German. Let's just see the save. 
Well, I didn't actually see that clip, the gloves, and maybe from this angle. Magnificent attempt from Gareth Bale. And in the end, the head of Ramos and is collected by Antonio Adan. Gareth Bale is seemingly bursting with confidence. Look at what he tries here. And watch Adan. Adan, what? I swear to you, gets... Un Here's the move. That's, that's an exquisite piece of skill. You called it beautifully. It, it's unbelievable that Bale doesn't score with that. Bale, and there is applause from at least half the Bernabeu for the Welshman. Bale again, gets it onto his left foot, swings the cross in, Fidal clears. Bale keeps it in play, he'll have another opportunity, this time at the far post, and there's nobody there. I'll make a small point, it, it, you know, we've been, I think... Now Teo, plenty of options to his right, he's going to try the shot, and it's blocked by Danny Carvajal, another opportunity, Guardado, and Sanabria bundles it over, but the flag is up for offside. Sanabria says no. The Betis fans say no. Setien looks a bit bemused. Let's have a look. Sanabria, well, he's got, he hasn't got a leg to stand on. He's so far on the game with the ball. It's taken him this long. His tail. It's a good run from him. Can he make the decision? Banagan tells Buda Boos to leave it. Dips it into the far post. 1-0 to Betis. They've done it. It's Sanabria. Banagan absolutely brilliant there. The dugout explodes. It's come totally against the run of play in the second half. What a brilliant bit of football, though. Full credit to the manager, Kike Setien. What a beautiful ball in from Banagan. Gave Ramos absolutely no chance. And the easiest of finishes for Sanabria. 1-0 to Betis, just over a minute to go. I admit I'm shocked. We talked about Pausa. Explain what Pausa means in Spanish. This idea that there's a player with more time in his head, more technique just to do the right thing at the right moment. Did I believe that it was going to be this man lobbing the ball beautifully over Sergio Ramos and Sanabria, who's missed the chance earlier on, again has the calmness to position himself and wait and head it back across a keeper who will routinely save these two players in green who stand out not because of the drama, not because of the fact they might have got three points, but because they were cold-blooded at the crucial moment.